Hey, what's up, guys? It's RC Journey here. Now, as promised, I got the part two, if you will, unboxing of the WPL B-24. Now, this is the military truck. This is the one with the flat front end. Uh, this is also the one that has leaf springs. And it is the kit, so it should be the same as far as coming with the motor and coming with the hobby grade servo and that should be it I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint this one as well I might just rock them sock and then you know once they get scratched up and get a little muddy I might take them apart and paint them whatever color I want to so now first thing this has instructions I don't think it okay there we go so it tells you what you're supposed to get those are front and back my camera would focus tells you what you're supposed to get and it tells you how to put it together That's always nice. You never really know when you're going to get lost and need help. Sometimes you can go to a YouTube video. Sometimes you could find the instructions in the box. So now here is the box of goodies, as I would call it. You get your hobby grade servo. The little WPL Dragon. And you get your 180 size motor. So that's not too bad. Here's the front of the truck. I got the green version. And it seems like the gas tank and the wheel holder and the little toolbox on the side. Seems like some of the spare stuff is tucked up inside there. So it seems like this truck was better packaged than the C14 because that thing was just ridiculous. This is actually sealed across the top as opposed to just being folded and stapled. So now this is where your servo will mount, which is your rear end with your tail lights. It's your uh, motor and transmission mount so you can see how it's open right there as opposed to being closed like they're ready to run so, okay, goodies we got in here so this would be the top of the truck you can see that this just would be the top so we got some other pieces and side pieces in there As I said on my last video, the kits come with soft tires. Very, very soft tires. So, I mean, that is just nice. This is going to do so much better based upon the tires being soft. And the green. What I might do is uh, a dually. Maybe I'll cut these tires in half and glue them together and do a dually and put some old rust on it, make it look like it's been sitting out in the field for a really long time. The bed's got some weight to it. Now, of course, it's got the side pieces on it. It's always nice. It definitely has some weight to it. Nice, good size. So, these are nice little trucks for 40 bucks, around that price. You can't beat it. Especially if you have extra pieces to rebuild it. So now there's a pre-assembled piece. There's an axle piece with the gear on it. There's another one. So some is still on the plastic tree and some is off. There's parts of the leaf springs. That's what it's looking like. The shackles that hold the leaf springs.
And then so there's the front axle and leaf spring shackles. And mounts. A little bit of hardware in there. Put it all together. Some of it's loose and some of it's not. As you can see, the box looks like it's been stepped on or delivered by Ace Ventura, so I definitely don't know what's going on with that, but at least everything's okay. Now, if this was an RTR, I doubt with the side of the box being kicked in, it would be okay. So, there's the chassis. It's fairly long. I mean, it's about as long as the box. So... Seems like it's made of good material. I might paint these right off the bat. I'm not too sure on exactly what I'm going to do. Now on the B-1, I did paint it. I painted the whole truck black, as you can see in the videos. So, nice and strong. Either way you look at it. It's going to be stronger this way than it is this way, so you get a little bend out of it, but... And that's it. No missing pieces like in the last one. I had some stuff floating around, so definitely better packaged other than the fact that it's been stepped on. Um, I don't see any difference in the drive shafts. I kept hearing that the drive shafts were better with the truck or with the military truck or the C-14. They all look the same, of the same quality. They all look to be not very good, to be completely honest with you. And there's that steering servo again. So that's always good because the RTR version comes with a friction servo. Now what that is, is it kind of works like a clutch, like on a nitro-powered RC car. You have that tiny little 180 motor spinning, and inside that, there's shoes that kick out and hit the inside of this bell. So this is constantly spinning. If those shoes can't get grip, then that's as strong as your servo is going to be. So watch when I take this off, there's going to be two little shoes in there, little clutch shoes. Those two little black clutch shoes. And one will come off. But there's no spring in there or nothing. It's just centrifugal force keeping those kicking on the outside. And then hitting the inside of this. That's why it's vented. So all that white powder can get kicked out of there. So no matter what, when you buy the ready to runs, the steering is not going to be too good right off the bat. Just because it's designed to not be. It's just designed to get you by if you're a little kid. And then that's it. And that's just it. If this truck was bought for a little 8, 10 year old, it would be a good truck. They would never even notice the flaws. But us buying it, we look for constant upgrades and way to make it better. So that they even offer this kit is very, very nice. Now, it is the same price. You're not getting the speed controller. You're not getting the transmitter. You're not getting the charger. You're not getting the battery. But you are getting, with the kit, a hobby-grade servo and the 180-size motor, not the 130-size motor. That comes with it in the ready to run, the stock. So, like I said, depends on how much money you guys want to put into this truck. I personally think they're fun and cheap. And once I get an arsenal of them, invite a friend over, we can go and crawl until they break and then have fun fixing them and making them stronger again. So, if you like the video, push that like button. Thanks for subscribing for all my people who did. It means a lot to me. And uh, thank you very much.